Hello everyone and welcome to my morning report analysis videos with me, Richard Paramark, Alistair and St. Marcus on Wednesday the 12th of September. We've got a fairly sort of consolidating look to Forex markets today. Nothing too significant in direction, a bit of chop um, higher and lower for the dollar. We've just actually had a little bit of a drop back actually on the euro and... Um, and uh, sterling a little bit but you look at the fact that the yen is stronger than the dollar that suggests a little bit of a risk off aspect but then you look on the equity markets and they are actually all trading higher in the European session so it's sort of a fairly mixed outlook that we've got on these European markets um, it, into the European session I should say today um, another interesting one is the fact that the Canadian dollar is notably stronger it uh, went below 131, which has been a bit of a um, medium-term pivot on uh, the uh, the uh, US dollar CAD price, um, and uh, that has uh, come as a little bit of um, progress in the NAFTA negotiations um, was was uh, seen yesterday. So um, a little bit of a move there on the Canadian dollar to be watched. But yeah, we're starting to see um, a little bit of a traction on the equity markets, which is which is interesting. We've had that corrective slip on uh, on the S&P 500, yeah, but there's, there's which as you can see actually pulled a bullish engulfing candle yesterday. I haven't got candlesticks on this chart now, but um, below the previous day's low and then closing above the previous day's high, that's a pretty strong candle that you'd see there. And uh, what we've seen is European equity markets sort of notably higher again today. So that is coming, but as you can see on the dollar index, pretty much nothing really um, as a uh, market um, as I said the majors are sort of um, chopping around a bit not really doing too much at all um, we are focusing today on the beginnings of US inflation we've got PPI today CPI tomorrow so PPI today um, how is uh, US PPI going to be forming well it looks like it's going to be a little bit lower 3.2 percent on the headline down from 3.3 percent but flat on the core at 2.7%. So um, that's this afternoon. A little bit of uh, Eurozone industrial production this morning, but nothing too significant to get worked up about. EIA inventories will be interesting. Another market I didn't talk about actually was oil. Look at this jump in the oil price yesterday. Um, we've got this hurricane, Hurricane Florence, that's due to uh, hit the eastern seaboard in the US. To, um, in the next few days and that is really impacting on the oil price um, big jump in oil demand um, seen there helping uh, Wall um, the uh, WTI price higher so um, that is certainly impacted on oil that hurricane just depends on how long it um, impacts for and uh, whether it starts to retrace once the hurricane subsides that will be the interesting factor there okay so my chance today FTSE 100 as I said looking at equities a little bit of a rebound intraday FTSE 100 had a nice rally of uh, 7720 yesterday added 60 ticks since then and it certainly looks as though that the market is starting to try and form a turnaround now if you look at how the hourly chart is made up um, you can see this resistance at, uh, that's actually 7308 7308 bang as that resistance there and if you can move above that 7308, that completes a little base pattern. But you look at these, um, the hourly momentum indicators, you've got small po um, positive divergences on RSI, MACD, and stochastics with positive signals. So a move above 7308 would complete that recovery and really suggest a turnaround. So um, that is interesting that we're seeing that. And certainly, um, if you look on the DAX, for example, that is beginning to show signs of recovery as well. So these European equity markets are looking to put, a, put an end to this corrective phase and maybe start to build a recovery. So watch out for that. RSI at 30 on the daily, that is stretched. We're starting to see the stochastics marginally picking up as well. So is this in the beginnings of a bit of a near-term turnaround on a FTSE? Something to watch out for, I would say. In terms of your support, you've got uh, today's low as the support initially, um, 72.67. Uh, and then you're looking at 72.20, which is yesterday's low. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading on FTSE 100. And I will speak to you later.